everyone, welcome back. So I'm gonna be doing the fall favorites tag. I think I've done this tag before on my channel. It was going around a couple of years ago. I think I've done it every year actually. Um, this year Jaclyn Hill created a tag it's kind of similar to the tags that have been done in the past. I was tagged by several channels, Beauty Buzz Hub, Kathleen Lights, Laura Lee, Miss Liz Hart. I think I was tagged by someone else. I can't remember if I'm forgetting you. Um, thank you guys so much for tagging me. A lot of people have tagged me, but I probably would have done it if no one tagged me. So I love fall. It's like one of my favorite seasons. So I just thought I would share some of my favorite favorites for fall. So let's go ahead and get started on the questions. I'm going to tag a bunch of people below. I know a lot of people have probably already done this video. If you haven't done it and you make videos, please do it and tag me so that I can see your video. Okay, first question up are candles. What is your favorite fall candle? Mine, I have three because you guys know I'm excessive. I really like Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works. I always stock up on this candle. This is a candle that my husband and I can both agree on. He really likes the like sultriness of it with the fireside and I really like the sweetness of it. I have a ton of candles. I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of candles. But I burn candles a lot when he's not home, the scents that he doesn't like, but this is one that he loves. It has marshmallows, smoldering woods, and warm vanilla. Hello, that's amazing. So I always have marshmallow fireside. Another candle that I just think is a classic is leaves. This is like like one of my favorite candles. I think it smells even better when you're burning it. It is everything good about fall. It's warm, it's sweet, but it's still like a little bit sultry too. This has this has golden nectar, ripe delicious apple and red berries. I tend to go for like either bakery scents or musky scents or like ones with citrus. I mean, what other scents are there? I don't like floral scents. There's a scent that I do not like. But for my candles, I love this one. Another one of my favorites for years has been Tyler Candle and Blueberry Blitz. This is amazing. It seriously smells like you're baking the most glorious batch of blueberry muffins ever. It is the best candle, honestly, year round, but this just smells like good home cooking and I don't know, just like such a warm, cozy scent that it reminds me of fall. Tyler Candles has one of my favorite candles ever that comes out during the holiday season. And it is called Eggnog. It smells so good. If you can find it, definitely get it. Tyler Candles are from Tyler, Texas, so they're all over Texas, but if you don't live in Texas, just Google Tyler Candle Company and you will be able to find a place to purchase them online. But uh, hands down, these last so much longer than Bath & Body Works candles do, and I believe this big size is like $22, but it honestly lasts like four times as long. Okay, favorite lip color. Since I'm kind of a lip salute, I chose four. So the newest one to my collection is Kathleen Light's um, Liquid Lipstick in Miami Fever. She collaborated with Ofra, which has become one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. I have so many different that I could have included in this video, but I had to narrow it down real quick. So this is just a gorgeous, like look at that. That's like a fall color in a basket. It's just perfect. I love this formula, and then this color is just, like basically like fall harvest it's amazing and it just looks so good I like to pair it with spice lip liner from Mac or spice lip liner from Milani they're dupes for each other if you were wondering it gives it a little bit more of a brown to it it's just I love this color if you're looking for some tutorials Kathleen and I collab together and we both did looks using this color so check those out if you're wanting to purchase that color and you're wanting ideas of looks of what to pair it with and then another one from Ofra, since I love the formula, is Honolulu. This is like a brown, I would say it's a brown with like a little bit of a red undertone to it. It's just so beautiful and like, I don't know, I just really love this color for like a deep, dark, browny, vampy lip. And then similar to that is from NYX, and this is in the color Vintage. These are the liquid suede lipsticks. And I did a full swatch video on these as well. This is a very, very similar color to Honolulu. As you can see, this one is the Lix one, and that's Honolulu from Ofra. So this is a little bit more affordable. It has also a little bit more um, of a 
purpley undertone to it than the one from Ofra. It's super comparable, a really great option. Probably my favorite fall lipstick, which has been for a which while, which is Rebel from MAC. I have an entire dupe video where I duped this lipstick if you're looking for a great dupe from it. I think it's from Milani and it's Sangria, but if you're interested in some other dupes of lipsticks, I will leave my MAC lipstick dupe video below. This is just a beautiful, all-time, perfect berry shade. I love wearing berry lips in the fall. It's just like probably one of my every year, just my like go-to. Okay, next question is favorite drink. So I bought my little Starbucks mug. I know this is going to like hurt a lot of people's feelings, but I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I don't. I prefer to have my pumpkin in my candle. I don't like to drink it. I've tried every year, really have tried, made a good effort to taste it, and I just like to see if I'm gonna like it again, and I don't. I just don't like it. I really love chai lattes. I know that that's not, like that's there all year long. I, sometimes I get them iced, even in the fall time, because it's, I live in Texas, it's still kinda hot here. So I like chai lattes, cold and hot, I up from Starbucks, and I also really like the salted, Anything like salted caramel, mocha, salted caramel lattes, whatever. I like salted caramel things. I like anything salted or mocha or salted hot chocolate. That's what I like. So, um, yeah, but typ typically Starbucks, like, they got my drinks. Favorite blush is the next question. Every fall, I go back to this same blush, and it is from Tarte. I just depotted a bunch of my blushes. This color is just like, every time I wear it on my cheeks, it just looks like I came in from outside. It's like that snow white cheek. It is called Natural Beauty. It is like, it looks scary, right? Because it's a red, but that is what looks the most natural on your skin and honestly gives you like you've been outside and you're bitten look. So I love putting this color on my cheeks and just kind of like making my face look alive. It just makes your cheeks look alive and it just reminds me of like, like you've been outside in the fall. When I used to live in Michigan, it's my favorite time fall because the leaves change and like you, you walk outside and it's like brisk and like your nose is a little bit red and your cheeks are a little bit red. It just brings color to your face and that's what this blush does. I highly recommend these Amazonian clay blush blushes from Tarte, blah, blah, blah. but they are just really beautiful. They stay out really well on the face and this color is like my go-to. Since I can't just name one blush, I had to pull out these ones from Milani. I love the baked blushes. This one is Rose Dioro, which I've used a ton in some tutorials recently. It's a beautiful orangey bronze shade. Again, I think that this just gives a lot of life to the face. Another one that is my favorite is, this one is called Berry Amour. It's really beautiful. I think it's a very close or similar blush to Warm Soul from MAC. So if you've been wanting that, this is very, very similar to it. That's Berry Amour. It just has a little bit of berry to it, a little bit of a bronze, a little bit of orange. It looks beautiful on the cheeks. And then this one in Rose Dioro is like a really nice golden-y um, orange but that brings a lot of color and life to your cheeks. This one is the Rose Zero and this is the Berry Amour. Both really really beautiful, great options from the drugstore. Okay, favorite clothing item. I have two things. First, I really love boots. Ankle boots. These are from, I think the brand is Sam Eldeman. And I got these from Nordstrom. These boots are just like, I think they're called the Petty Suede Boots. I love them. They're like a putty color and I think that they just go with a lot of things. I love little ankle boots with some like jeans or like even like ripped jeans or jeans that you like crop and roll up. I just love that look. Another thing I love is like if you would just wear like a long sleeve white shirt and a scarf. This was my favorite purchase that I made last season and it is from Madewell. It's just a beautiful oversized huge scarf. It's comfy, it's cozy, and I love the plaid print on it. There are a ton of places that come out with scarves with plaid on it. I think plaid is obviously back again this season, so I love plaid in the fall. That just reminds me of fall. It's gotta bust out your plaids. Really, really love like the oversized scarves and I love the plaid pattern. Favorite fall movie? I was trying to think. Everyone says Hocus Pocus and that's a 
good movie, but I just, I really actually don't have like a favorite fall movie that I see and I'm like, this is fall. I have that for like going into the holidays, which is Home Alone. I mean, hello, how classic. Every year I have to watch Home Alone. But as for a fall movie, I don't really have one. Hocus Pocus, yeah, I watch it, but I'm not like crushed if I don't see it um, around the fall. But like, if I don't see Home Alone, it's like, did this even happen? Like, did the holidays even happen? Favorite fall TV show. I'm like a Shonda Rhimes girl here. I love the Thursday night lineups with when Grey's Anatomy just came back and then Scandal and then How to Get Away with Murder. Like How to Get Away with Murder is seriously mind blowing me right now because I just love that show. I'm not gonna leave any spoilers or anything like that. But if you haven't watched that show, it's on Netflix, catch up on it, and then watch this season. It's such a good show. I just love it and like, I seriously am like, how do you get away with murder? Holy smokes, you did. Favorite Thanksgiving food. This is like a toss up. I love like a good sweet potato casserole. I tend to be the one to make that every year. We always celebrate Thanksgiving with my husband's family just because they live locally. Um, and then we kind of do Christmas with my family because they either travel in or we travel out because they live in Michigan. So. I always bring the sweet potato casserole. I really love it. I make like a really, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I used to have like a cooking blog. I still leave it listed down below, but I really love to cook. I like to try new recipes, but I really love this like sweet potato souffle that my dad used to make. And um, I kind of took the recipe and like made it a little bit my own, but it has like melted marshmallows on the top and pecans. If you don't like nuts, you just don't use the pecans. It's so, so good. So I love making that every year. And then my mother-in-law and my own mom make the best, like, it's almost like a hash brown casserole, but it's like shredded potatoes with cheese and like green onions. And I don't know, for some reason, like uh, sour cream and stuff. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. My mother-in-law is an amazing cook, and so is my dad. My mom, she makes one really good thing, and that is that potato casserole. Favorite Halloween costume. Is this like the Halloween costume that I've worn? Like my favorite Halloween costume that I've ever worn? Probably one time when I was a Hooters girl. And let me tell you why, because I was skinny. And uh, it was in college, and my husband, well, he was my husband back then, but... My friends and I had like Hooters t-shirts, we got shorts, we got like nylon leggings and these high top things and we dress up for, I have, you know, I had big boobs but back then I had big boobs and a small waist. I was like, why didn't I walk around naked? Like, hello, I wasted so much time being clothed. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing, for real. Not, not really, like, I really wish that I would have relished those years of not having stretch marks and saggy Ethiopian boobs, but whatever. I could get back there probably if I wanted, slash, it would take a lot of work. But anyways, I love that costume purely because it was like, living the dream with the good body and like pre-kids and my husband was there and it was just like a memorable Halloween to me. I think the Hooters won because that was just when I had a really good body and I like to remember those times. Okay, that is it for my fall favorites. I tag all of you and if you don't make videos, go ahead and just pick a question and leave your answer down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a video. I would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.